Hello and welcome back to another episode on Pichta, the Miss Buzz Experiment map. So today we are selling milk. <laughs> I just told you something new, didn't I? Uh, anyway, uh, our cow's feed is very low. So I think I am going to buy a few bales of uh, grass si excuse me, grass silage. And I'm going to make a few mixes. Um, I will use our hay in the meantime, so in this process. Uh, but I will, I will have all the grass silage still stored in our bunker. And I will produce more hay later on this year. So I think that's going to work out quite good, quite okay. Um, and I think I want to sell some slurry and maybe, maybe start the apple production. I'm not sure about that, but I am thinking about it. So, first things first, I'll park this back at the farm and then I'll grab a tractor and a flatbed trailer and I'll go to the store and get, so uh, I think 8 bales is 28,000 liters. And we use approximately uh, 15,000 liters of uh, of grass silage for each mix. So if I have 28, that's for two mixes. Maybe I'm going to take 16 bales uh, to make four mixes. And that should be 120,000 liters of TMR, which should suffice for a couple of days maybe a month or so and after that we'll see where we stand okay let me take this Deutz far and let's put on the flatbed and I have three pallets of mineral feed and I have three pallets uh, or three IBC tanks of filtered water which is enough for three loads so I am going to buy one of each, combined with the bales, uh, so I can make four loads. And four loads should be good for some time, as I said before. Um, and I think I also need... Well, actually, I would need it, but I'm not gonna bother with that. Um, because for loading the silage bales, I would need to have a a bale fork for tally handler. Now, I do all the bale work hmm, actually well. When I'm gonna do hay, I'm probably gonna use tally handler to move them off of the field and pull the trailer. So, yeah, I'm gonna buy um, what's it called a. Um, bale fork for the tally handler for the Merlo. So that should be... That should be then good enough for us to move everything around. Okay, if I park somewhere over here, I think I'm gonna be... Okay. Let's go. Yeah, this Steyr is on... Uh, <laughs> is uh, on this count 185 horsepower it, it has an orange paint scheme and yeah it's it's looks it, it's a very nice tractor but I can't afford it at the moment I don't even need it at the moment uh, so let me focus on the bales and I need grass silage let me take eight and another eight. Okay, that's 16 bales. And now I can use this beautiful crone. Ah, awesome. You even have to put the steering wheel down manually. Ah, huh? you see that? <laughs> cool. And you can also, of course, Close the door and open only the window if you want to. But since it's only 13 degrees, I'm gonna close this. 
and they use the steering wheel and let's go this is a really nice mod chrome big lift so this is the stores tally handler i do not own it but i can use it to load stuff we buy here so i'm gonna use it to load stuff i bought here Okay, 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 that's around halfway there. Has a really nice sound, this one. Okay, there seems to be a bale. Poorly put on. Let me first put it on the trailer and then I'll sort out that bale. Yeah, I need to push just a little bit. Awesome. Yeah, let me do that real quick. Well, not very quickly. <laughs> slowly, slowly. Okay. And not too much because... The bale physics is not the best in farming simulator. But yeah, look at this machine. This really is a beautiful alley handler. It's a very modern one, a very sleek design. Okay, and it looks like we're gonna have enough space for that filtered water and mineral feed on our trailer. Maybe it was too much that I ordered two times of eight bales because it looks like it threw them away a bit. But anyway, I think it will work just fine. Yeah, that bale is quite awkwardly put onto the trailer. Let me see if I can... I can maybe drag this somehow. Okay. Oh, well, it's not perfect, but it's better. Okay, and since I'm gonna get one of these uh, spikes, I will put this on here and unhook it. Oh, I just hooked it in. Yeah, this is off. And I'm gonna transport it like this back to the farm. I'm gonna buy a new one. But first let me sort out the mineral feed. Let's go with the Doika mineral feed. It's a blue. One pallet, yes. And let's go with filtered water. It should be somewhere here over here so one of these okay now let me get that tally handler spike so fork okay let's go with one of these uh, let's have it with three times middle yes Okay, and now I'll get, oh no, I don't need to get, I forgot, uh, I already have a, what's it called, uh, forklift over here, so I don't need to have the pallet forks for this beautiful crone machine. 
Let me put on the hydraulics. Awesome. Oh, I, s I left it on automatic. Okay, I don't like that. I'm gonna change it in between the episodes. I don't want... I don't like auto stack. I want to do the things manually. So, let me put on both of these. And then we're off. to be careful because with high center of gravity you're more likely to tip over and that's the last thing I want to do to tip over the store's forklift for which I would need to pay damages for and I don't have any use of it except when I'm here so that would be a total loss. Well, any damage is a total loss, actually, but... If you own the machine, you can actually have it and use it. But if you don't own it, if you damage someone else's machine, that's, you know, a complete waste. <laughs> that's really bad. A bad financial decision. Follow me for more, follow me for more financial advice. <laughs> Okay, made it successfully back to the farm. Uh, now what? <laughs> now I need to turn on the mixer wagon and start putting ingredients in. So this should already be hooked up. And let me just reverse it a little bit. I didn't I hook it up all the way. Okay, yeah, I forgot to put on the PTO. Let me try again. Yeah, that's it. So the machine is running. Now, first thing, I will put on, put in a hay bale. With our trusty Massey Ferguson. So we have six bales, okay. Oh, to enter this one, you have to go like this and in. Of course not in the game, you can press E or any other designated button anywhere in the vicinity, but, you know, for realism's sake. Okay, and the trailer should be right about here. Let me... Sand is probably already mixing. Is it? It is. So I'm gonna show you one load and I'm gonna do do three loads off screen. Uh, Cause this gets pretty boring and repetitive. Uh, but since we are doing it differently, I'm gonna show you still a one mix. Now I wanna pull this out. As far forward as I can go without destroying our wheat field. And let me use this one. Okay, I need to. Yeah, of course, I need to turn the cables off. Now, I don't really remember. Do I have this set up for a tally handler or no yes it is awesome okay so the next thing i want to do is put in a one bag of mineral feed i'm gonna take it straight off the trailer now and one bag one ibc tank of filtered water and then the rest is going to be silage. The bales of silage. Ok, 
Okay, one at a time, one at a time. Do not be greedy. Greedy usually leads to disasters. Now I really do wonder, so if I use... So four bales are... 28,000 liters. Okay, the mirror feed is in. I'm gonna put two bales in first, and then I'm gonna see where we stand, and I will correct and add more if need be. Okay, this is quite a bit heavier than the mineral feed. Oh wow. And the filtered water is going in. So we are gonna be at 11,050 if I'm correct. Yes. So we need 20,000 liters of um, of grass silage in order to make it almost full but not completely so I'm thinking if I don't do the whole 30,000 liters and if I have to use four bales for each let me pull this out I don't want to throw them over um, yeah if I do four bales for each mix maybe that could be enough I mean it will definitely be enough but I just want to make the most out of what the mix we have Okay, should, so this should not be around 18,000, yes. And if I said I want to do four mixes, that means... Yeah, four bales per each mix. And the trailer is going to be empty of grass silage bales. So we're going to have, what, 7,000, 25,000 liter loads of TMR. Times four, that's... 100,000. Okay, so we'll get uh, around 20,000 less than if I would use our own grass silage, but you know, I just want to make sure our cow survives. Okay, so this is one load, and I'm gonna make three more in the exact same order and exact same recipe. And I'll see you after that. Okay, making the last mix, it has started to rain, just, uh, it's not gonna be a long rain, it's just gonna be a shower, but it's, you know, every day is raining now, so that's kind of unfortunate, on the other hand, it's still quite fortunate since we are not making hay at the moment, uh, so we don't really need a very dry weather. But yeah, I have used all the mineral feed, I have used all the filtered water, and I have used all the bales. And the cows will have around 130,000 liters of feed in their trough uh, when I'm completely done with this. So after this, I am going to put away the flatbed trailer. I want this one and leave it here. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna put away the flatbed trailer and I'm gonna go and lease a slurry transporter. Uh, it, it's the yellow one we were looking at. I think it's Zunhammer. Zunhammer or something like that. Zunhammer. Um, we're gonna lease that and we're gonna take a few loads of slurry to be sold. Uh, we can do, I think, at least 
Yeah, 10 loads because it, that uh, slurry tanker holds 21,000 liters. So, I don't know, 5 loads should put us somewhere around here. Uh, so we better the capacity of our slurry, tank, uh, slurry pit and also we get some money back. So yeah, this was not very exhausting, but we are going to be, yeah, somewhere around 130,000, 35,000, somewhere around here. So yeah, that should hold us for possibly two months, I hope. So the whole May and the whole June. And after that, we can start thinking about, so June... July, August, yeah, we're still gonna have to wait three months before I can start chopping corn into the... So start chopping corn for silage. But in the meantime, I think I'm gonna be able to produce more hay, which is a key ingredient, and you've seen that uh, besides we bought all the mineral feed and filtered water and Right, I should turn it off before I put my hands into the PTO. Uh, yeah, please turn off your machines before you put your hands in your PTOs. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, I should be able to produce more hay in the meantime. Uh, so, yeah, that's gonna make our feeding quite a lot cheaper. And this is financially viable so if i do it the way i did it right now i can actually financially afford it uh since we started the day with what was around 30,000 3300 don't remember exactly but um let's say we use the whole day's profit for feeding our cattle and we can use the whole day's uh, profit yesterday tomorrow and possibly you know two three days to keep it for ourselves and then i might have to go and buy another batch of bales and mineral feed and filtered water just to make a few more loads uh but yeah it's you know if i put one day's profit into feed and then have three four days uh, to keep the money for ourselves and for our own needs uh, it does sound financially viable in theory uh, now I hope it's uh, also in practice uh, so it's the same in practice financially viable but we'll just have to see Okay, so I want to go in the slurry tanks and I was thinking of leasing this one. So it's 21 cubic meters and it's gonna cost us 2,600 and let's go with road tires like this. Now I'm not sure I do know that it is compatible with uh, manure system mod. Let me just see where the pump is. Probably this one in the back. Okay, let's lease this one. And I'm gonna lease another thing. And that is a slurry hose extension. So this is 5 meter, yeah, or maybe I can get a 5 meter one. Uh, we have it in grey. So if, if it's in extension, you can connect multiple hoses together. But I think 5 meter one is gonna be good. And I'm gonna lease this, yeah, for 13. I don't need to have it all the time because it, with a small... Slurry tank we have, it's uh, quite enough, the shorter hose. 
Okay, and this is the setup. Thunhammer Gule Technik. Ultra lightweight tank wagon. Uh, so the hose connects over here at the back. Like this. And I think I don't have to open it. Let me see. Oh, that's it. Uh, so just for the <laughs> gameplay sake, I'm gonna pull that hose behind me all the way to the farm. You did not see that. Okay, successfully navigated over here. Now let me take this short hose off and pull it somewhere over here away. Let's try coupling this one to our slurry pit. Okay, let's open it. Oh, wrong button. Okay. What happened? Oh, okay. It's just a graphical glitch. <laughs> I was thinking that <laughs> it disappeared on me. Please don't. Okay, let's kill the tool. Do I need to connect anything else? Driving direction. Okay, why, why is it not working? Give me a second. Okay, so I was fiddling about quite a lot and it looks like this doesn't have its own pump. Even if you look at physically at this trailer, it doesn't have a pump, so it's actually just a transport trailer which you need to fill with other machines that actually have pumps. So you could fill it from over there, I think, and I put the hose over here. And I'm gonna try something. You know, this is gonna take a while, but... Since I made a miscalculation and bought a trailer without a pump, I'll do what any sane farmer would do. <laughs> okay, let's reverse the uh, pump to filling and R. So we're gonna use the farm tech pump to fill this trailer and as you can see in the bottom right corner it is fitting uh, it, you know, <laughs> it is going to be a process I uh, yeah must say but a man's got to do what a man's got to do and if I made the mistake of getting a trailer that doesn't have pump well I'm going to use what I have at hand but maybe maybe there are let me just let me quickly look at something I vaguely remember there being a pump of some sort in the miscellaneous. Yeah. Getting sidetracked, but yeah. Does it have a... It does have something, but I think it's not made for slurry. Anyway, uh, focus back on here. No, it's not here. Maybe it's in the slurry department. No. There is no pumps here. But I do remember there being something. Maybe that's a, a mod that you can download. And I uh, probably don't have it. But anyway, I'm gonna do this a couple times now. Oh no, the hose went through the ground. No. Yeah, let me try to free the hose. I mean, for the love of the buggy physics. And I can't even reset this because 
<laughs> you can't enter it. Maybe if I put it onto the trailer and then reset the whole thing. I mean, come on. Okay, let us... Where do I do that? Let's okay, flip vehicles. Let's try this. Nope. Anyway, um, I'll be back. Okay, so I tried everything and I can't reset this. I have even restarted the game. Uh, this is completely stuck. It's not connected here, so I'm gonna turn off the slurry system for a while, at least uh, when I, at least so I can sell all that uh, slurry, and then I'll turn it back on again for our next slurrying session. Um, so yeah, physics are what they are, and the game is what it is. And sometimes you just get these uh, annoying things happening, which I don't think there's any cure for it. So I will quickly just turn this off and we'll go and sell the slurry and then I'll re-enable that uh, slurry system mod. Okay, so after all that shenanigans, I have finally filled that slurry tanker up. Uh, now, of course, I forgot to check where I need to take it to be sold. So let me go down here. Uh, slurry over here. BGA Hirschfeld. So let's tag that place and let's see where that is. BGA, BGA. It's... Oh, the BGA is over here. Yeah, I remember now. Okay, so we have to go north. I know exactly where this is. So 21,000 liters, it's one probably gonna give us around 500 pounds, euros. And later on, yeah, and if we do a few loads, so I paid 2,600 for the trailer lease and I should be able to make that money back, but anyway, I need to have more space in our uh, slurry pit. If the cows keep producing, they cannot just stop. So yeah, if it needs doing, it needs doing. There's no two ways about it. And it's a good thing we are doing this while it's raining, because we don't have anything else to do. So I'll see you at the BGA. Okay, this is the BGA. I'm already emptying my trailer and let's see what we get. So it looks like it's gonna be quite some money. Awesome. We will... I will help myself with this just a little bit since I have so many expenses. Okay, so 1,200... Maybe almost 1,300. Okay. And if I make five more loads or four more loads, that's uh, around 6,000 pounds, euros. And... Yeah, that all sounds fine and dandy. You also have scales here, so we can weigh your vehicle. Uh, but since we have all the things in liters, I don't have to weigh anything. Because it's all automatically recorded uh, based on the tanker you drive in. Okay, so we'll see you four loads later. Okay, so I sold four full loads and now this last one is giving me a bit of grief because the BGA seems to be full on slurry. So I'm not gonna try sell anymore. I'm just gonna return the trailer and we're gonna lose seven and a half thousand liters of slurry, but that's no biggie. Um, just to let you know how things are standing. 
So I'm going to return to the farm, return the trailer. And this is probably going to be it for this episode, I think. I think. Maybe tomorrow or in the next episode, we're going to uh, tackle the... Let me go in here, you can probably hear me better. Um, we're going to try starting the apple trees. So we need to give them water and we need to give them slurry. I mean a slur <laughs> manure, solid manure. And if we provide water, they start producing. If we provide both, they double the production. At least I think it works that way. So yeah, um, with this I would like to thank you for watching. I hope you had fun. This was kind of a <laughs> saving the cows episode again. Um, but I think we're gonna be good on feed for at least two months. We should be. And in the meantime, we're gonna uh, we're gonna get more hay. We desperately need that. And then we can repeat the feeding session like we did today with the bought silage. And after that, I believe we're gonna be able to produce grain grist because we need barley and wheat for that. And we're also gonna be able to produce the May silage, um, but that's still about a few months away. So yeah, thank you for watching, take care, and see you next time. Bye-bye.